simply amazes me how the devil has, Christians especially, but the world in general, uh, in a dumbed-down state, seeking out things that are pointless, meaningless, and irrelevant in the big picture of life and eternity. I'm doing this video because I get asked all the time. I got asked again yesterday, the latest of probably a hundred times I've been asked now lately from uh, mostly Christian, actually all Christian friends who say they're Christians, <coughs> asking me if the earth is round or flat. What I tell them is this. All I care about is what the Bible says. The Bible doesn't talk about the earth being round or flat. And it doesn't matter to me. Since the Bible doesn't discuss it or bring it up, it doesn't matter to me. But I will tell you this. Between my dad and I, we've traveled the entire globe for the most part. We've covered the globe. We've went as far north as you can go, as far south as you can go, as far east as you can go, as far west as you can go. We've gone by ship. We've gone by plane. We've gone every way that you can possibly go. Those are the two main ways. I mean, when you get over the water and across by land, you got by train, cars, whatever. And we have never went off the edge anywhere in our world travels. All we've done is continue on tra to traverse the earth in the opposite direction. So that alone tells you the truth about whether the earth is flat or round. But again, it's irrelevant. I'm just saying it because I have to get the word out because I'm tired of people being sidetracked. All that matters is eternity. All that matters is if you're saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood and living like a Christian is supposed to, which means you'll go to heaven, or if you're not, which means you go to hell in the lake of fire forever. That's all that matters. No one's guaranteed even the next day, hour, minute, or second of your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I'll pray for you every single day privately to Jesus Christ to bring him before his Father God. And Christians, you make sure you witness him praying night and day for the lost. That's our jobs. Don't get hung up on all the sidetrack stuff and all the, all the crazy stuff. Focus on things that only have to do with getting yourself and others ready for heaven and with eternity. You guys take care of yourself, spread the word, and share this with everybody you possibly can.